Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, so it is Reading Tuesday. And on top of that, yeah, every morning, y'all. Every morning. I hope y'all used to it. Um, let me switch. Today I'm going to be in comfy clothes all day because we are not going anywhere. I'm just gonna be relaxing at home. I think we're gonna do tea time today because Tuesday we're supposed to do tea time. So I think we're gonna do tea time. I'm gonna make sure I have my life together to do it. Um, I did not do Monday marriage yesterday. You look amazing. Oh, are you a turtle? You look like a turtle. Is that your shell? You a turtle? No, this is a bunch of Oh, okay. Well, you look like a turtle. He wants the mama. Well, why can't he play with the mama? Oh, he was trying to hold her and he was trying to drop her. Well, she's going to scratch him and then he'll stop doing that. You want the mama? Okay, let him play with the kittens. Okay. Hey, careful. Yeah, my oldest daughter, she's a foster, so she fosters. And these kids be. I'm going insane. Um. I just lost my train of thought. Okay, anyway, we're about to do reading. That's what we're about to do. Our reading block, and then we'll loop if we have time and if I feel like it today. So, that's what they're about to do. That would come to her mind. Finally, one morning toward the middle of July, the idea came. Why, how perfectly simple, she said to herself. The way to save Wilbur's life is to play a trick on Zuckerman. Hey! Major already raised his hand. What did Avery try to do to Charlotte? He tried to he tried to use his stick to knock her over in the box. Uh huh. So he could what? Get he, he wanted to do what? Get Paris. Get box. Get box. He wanted to catch her. Very good, y'all. What smelly get event box. happened because Avery get tried box. to catch her? Get a rotten egg. All right. Charlotte thought that she could write a web in her mess, write a message in her web because humans are what? She said they were angry, precious, or gullible. Gullible. And Harper, what did the kids do at the barn when they were playing? What were they doing? Let's see if Harper knows. Nope. They're playing on the best swing on the barn, taking turns for an hour. That is correct, Major. Good job. Let me see. Harris, what kind of pet did Avery have? A, a frog. A frog. That's correct. Um, Phoenix. What color were the kids' tongues when they were swinging? What color were their tongues? I'm asking Phoenix. Harper, what color were their tongues? Charlie, what color were their tongues? Purple. And then what did they go eat after they started swinging? Berries. And what color did their tongue turn then? Very good. The song sparrow. 
to run and get some stuff for high tea because I realized I didn't have everything I needed so we're gonna do high tea today and for those of you who are not sure what high tea is high tea is when you have tea time after work hours so it's like between 5 and 8 so that's like dinner time tea and that is usually for the working um, family. They would have tea after they got off of work. Whereas the other tea time, and I'm drawing a blank for the name, afternoon tea is for was for like the upper class and they would have tea um, between like 12 and three. So we're gonna have a high tea today. I am worth it. Work wearing a mask. So put your mask on, people. Okay, y'all. I'm home and I've been slaving in the kitchen. Our Halloween treat for today. It is a. Let me go this way. There it is. It's a Halloween hand. That is. She should with that white shirt on. All right, so y'all see, these are our Halloween treats for today. They're little hands with the nails. So, anyway, this is how we set up tea time when we do it high tea. So it's Taco Tuesday, well, for us, Mexican Tuesday. So we do Mexican food. So we have a burrito bar tonight. And so this is how we set up when we do uh, high tea. So these little things, y'all, I got off of Amazon. 
Amazon. They're actually plastic and collapsible. And I got the bowls too. The only thing about the bowls is that if you put something heavy in the top, it kind of, you know, folds a little bit. It hasn't collapsed on us yet, so that's good. So keep that in mind. My daughter loaded it up with sour cream. Anyway, so we're gonna start tea time. Here's our teas. So I'm waiting to fill this one up. And this one goes on top with the candles. How long is the show? How long is the show? Yes. Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes show. Ladies and gentlemen, 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 ladies, welcome to the 2020 Halloween Black History Dance Show. Okay. So today we have performers of the age range of five to ten. They've been practicing for about a month now to get this. I present to you the Cold Crew. Same song, so let's do it all, yeah, and we gon' stay strong. Now if you feel the way I feel, then help me sing this song. Did you know so many great people came before us to keep their legacy alive? We just can't ignore it. So listen up, we're gonna uncover the mysteries. This month in American history, Gwendolyn Brooks, yeah, she had this what it took to go down in history for her poetry book. She knew what she wanted, determined to succeed, tenacity and dedication qualities we need. By age 13, she was published in the magazine. 75 coins by the age of 16. Free verse style, sonnets and ballads. Gwendolyn Brooks, a remarkable talent. Did you know so many great people? 